how do you recognize an acid in a base, Mr. Milks? Hey, how are you? Video four. Oh, yeah. Figure it out. Acids, bases. How do I see which ones is which? Yeah. Just by looking at them. Right. Well, aside from uh, <clears throat> table K and yeah, and the other one next L, L, K, K, L. L. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Those are pretty easy ways to figure it but out. There but are these characteristics we told you about in the previous videos that you got to know. Yeah, and this is not on there, so these you got to remember. And so, like, when you're reading and it describes something as being following, you might think, okay, that must mean it's an acid. Must be big. So, acids always produce H plus ions um, from their formulas. Yep. These react with uh, water molecules sometimes to make these H3O ions, hydronium ions, same thing. H plus ion, H3O ion. Have we? Said that enough times? Too many. We're going to say it one more time for a minute. Watch. <laughs> so typically acids that you run into are tart tasting. So we have a lot of acids in our food. Citric yeah. acid, all the other things. Yep. Read the ingredients labels. You'll see something, 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 ick or us. Yeah. Acid. Vinegar. Yeah, acetic. Acid. Acetic acid. So read your ingredients labels. You'll see acids all over the place. They will sting in open parts of your body. So you Ouch. get them in your eyes or a cut. Yep. Oh, they, it hurts. Yeah. I sting. I was cutting food and it was stinging, so it must have been acidic. There you go. Uh, they will react vigorously with metals to produce hydrogen gas. Ooh, where does that hydrogen come from? From the acid part of the acidic molecule. Love it. Love it. They are electrolytes, so they will dissociate in solution. Mm -hmm. um, they all dissociate, some to better than others, but we don't say that some are, you know, go into solution, some don't like we did before with the compound. Right, so all acids and bases are soluble in water. And all of them are electrolytes to some degree. Right. Some better than others, but we'll get into that later. Um, acids will turn litmus paper, which is a test for acids and bases. It's an red. indicator. Right. Um, so it's the typical type, you know, if it's, it's a, you dip it in the liquid, and if it turns red, that tells you it's an acid. Yep. That's it. We'll get to what it does in the base in a minute. But this is uh, the they, tricky part. They do look like pure water. They're clear and colorless. Sometimes they have an odor, though, that will hurt, so we don't just... <laughs> yeah, no, no huffing <laughs> chemical. You're because you're going to burn your lungs. Because some of them are more or less volatile than others, sure. depending upon their polarity. Now, let's start. Moving on to bases. Produce OH-, right? Hydroxide, either directly, like an Arrhenius base would, or, or indirectly, in like the alternate Bronsted-Lowry theory okay. explains, Ammonia. where many things can be bases as long as they are accepting... Hydrogen ions. Sure. Because that's going to make an OH minus somehow by okay. reacting with water. So these uh, bases are bitter. Mm -hmm. Okay, think of dark chocolate. Yes, it, Baker's chocolate. Gross. I'm not eating that. Well, yeah. it's bitter because they have little base packed it with a base to pervert, preserve it for a longer period Basically. of time. Um, they react with skin oils to make a slippery feel. So they are going to feel slippery to your hands. If you get bases any on are it. slippery. Yep. Way more so than... Soaps yeah. themselves are basic. Tend to be weak bases, but it's part of how they get the oil and the grease to come off your skin. They react with yep. the oil and the grease to produce more soap-like molecules, which are both attracted to oil and grease and the polar water molecules. Yeah. So the water that you're rinsing with this pulls is it all away. one of the special seven reactions we have to learn in organic. Yeah. Um, they are also electrolytes. Again, they produce ions and solutions. But so not H plus OH negative. But what they do different is they turn that litmus paper blue. blue. Bases are blue. blue. And it's easy to remember. Litmus. Well, yes. Don't remember that in general, but in litmus. Right. Uh, again, they're going to look like pure water for the most part. Yes. As the concentration increases, it might get a little yellowish or something. Yeah. But we don't handle those too often. And they do not react with the metals. So acids react with the metals, bases do not. That might be the key piece that helps you figure out if, is it an acid or a base. Bases do react with metals, but not in the way acids do. It's and not it, obvious like, wow, that's reacting. This, yeah, with this bubbling and the gas. Yeah. and It doesn't visually look like much is happening. Oh, Alarm, it must be, oh, school's out. But we're going to keep going. Stop, stop. Salts. Well, all right. salts are ionic sorry, sorry. solids. Yes. Okay. Just a generic thing. Yeah. So that's what's up with salts. I want you to make sure you knew that. They are the product of a neutralization reaction with an acid and a base. You put an acid and a base together, you are always going to produce a salt and water. We'll see that in another video. Yes, we will. Um, salts do not produce the acidic or basic ions in solution. Salts are not proton acceptors or donors. Nope. They don't have hydrogen ions in their formula. They don't have hydroxide ions in their formula. Therefore, they produce no acidic or basic ions, and they are neutral. 
Yes, because the metal in one of the ionics is really going to mess this whole thing up. Really. Sure. Right. And they do not produce these basic hydroxide ions in solution either. Right. Okay. Good. So we just covered salts. Yeah. Um, quickly identifying Arrhenius acid. Okay. Um, this is just the generic way of how you name any acid. Remember, there's some common acids to go look up on table K. Yep. So the spectator ion, meaning the non negative H. ion, right? So the, the chloride, the nitrate, the nitrate is the spectator, and it's going to end in ic acid. Right. So let's do, let's do an example. I right. see HCl. So chlorine is my spectator in this case because we know H is what makes it. It is the only one that serves with hydro, by the way. Yep. Hydrochlorine and ic acid. Put them all together. Hydrochloric acid. So hydro means hydrogen. Chlorine, chloric means chlorine. Hydrogen, chlorine, and then it's an acid. That's how we know what base it is. We can go back. Absolutely. Now let's go to bases. Nomenclature of bases. We name, name the, the metal, metal and then end it with hydroxide for that OH. Right. Basically is what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. So NaOH becomes sodium. Name the metal. OH is hydroxide. Put them together, we got sodium hydroxide. But remember, there is one chemical that is an exception to the rules on common bases. Yes. And so he doesn't have the same naming structure either. Ammonia is the common name for NH3. Okay, and it's not nitrogen trioxide, trihydride. Um, because this compound has been known since antiquity and we've studied it for a long time, it carries a common name rather than a technical name. It is technically nitrogen trihydride, but we don't call it that. Right. Just like we don't call water a dihydrogen oxide. Monoxide. Monoxide, exactly. So you don't even know how to say it because you don't use it. Right. So let's pick it up. Oh, oh wow. Go. We're done. Yay. So naming acids and bases is stinking easy. If you use your table K and table L, it's really all you need. The patterns, you just always got to remember ammonia, NH3, alternate theory, H yes. plus acceptor, yes. period. That one's, the, that one's on the bases, and the funny one that's on the acids is the CU. That organic acid ends right. in COOH. Right. You don't want to get hung up that it ends in an OH. You think it's a base. I think there's another one on the acids table. There's it's CO2. CO2, yes, CO2, CO2 is CO3. called carbonic acid. But for the same reason that ammonia reacts with water to produce the OH negative ion by the alternate theory, CO2 reacts with the water to produce an H plus ion because of the alternate theory. Right. So there's one exception to the basics and there's one exception to the acids Really, on each chart. Remember, CO2 is acid alternate theory and H3 is the base alternate theory. Right. That's it. Otherwise, we use our charts. Charts. Yeah. See ya.